Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy with me Chris. In this tip, tip we're going to show you how to never play a wrong note again. Yay! Uh, we're going to force Logic to play in a scale, a particular uh, user-defined scale. Uh, uh, so we can jam out riffs or arpeggiator or arpeggios uh, over the top of our track. We've got a backing track here. It's a very simple uh, couple of chords uh, sort of thing that I'm working on. Just... So, yeah, it's, you know, very basic. Well, in fact, we'll mute that uh, arpeggiator there because we might look at something uh, to do with that. So what we're going to do, we need a, I need a bit of a riff in there, you know, something. Uh, and I don't really want to concern myself with hitting wrong notes. I, um, we're in the scale of F minor. And I'm not 100% familiar with all the correct notes in F minor. So what I can do is let's open up a uh, sort of lead sound just anything roughly so we'll go to Anna go to factory 3 leads uh, yeah something you know just the first random cool and if I play now It's not very pleasurable for you guys to listen to because uh, I'm hitting all the wrong notes. So, if we go up to our uh, MIDI effects, we have Transposer here. Uh, and this is just, we'll, we'll transpose notes. It's the exact same as the Transpose here. But we have this section here which will give us our root note, which we know to be F. And our scale, which we can have minor, pen, uh, minor blues, uh, natural minor, harmonic minor, etc. So, now I've selected natural minor, you'll see some notes greyed out. If I hit C sharp, it will play, play C sharp. If I hit D, it didn't play a D, it, it forced it to play a C sharp. If I hit D sharp, plays D sharp. If I hit E won't play. Again, if I hit F sharp, it's playing an F. Again, it's ignoring A and B. So A is a G sharp and B is an A sharp. So now I can play happily uh, over the top of my track and jam out a riff. And I'm, I'm playing all the wrong notes there. I'm playing these notes, these Ds, Es, F sharps, As and Bs, and it doesn't matter. It's forcing it into uh, <clears throat> the F minor scale. Another great thing it would be good for if we uh, were to make this in conjunction with an arpeggiator. It means that <clears throat> we can hit any notes we want and we'll always be in the key. So there you go, we can get... Uh, some good results with the uh, transposer and forcing uh, logic to play in a certain key. Uh, I hope that helps and we'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.